Well, blessed be the name of Jesus. It is definitely a privilege and a pleasure to stand here before you, knowing that it's not by my own intuition, but it's by the calling of the Spirit into ministry, why I have the pleasure of being here. Again, I am Reverend Richard Steve Mitchell of Friends for Life Outreach Ministry. You know that there is a war that has been unleashed here on earth which has a heavenly repercussion. A heavenly repercussion because it's not all that are called that will make it into heaven. It says many are called, but chosen are few. And those that are chosen is just likened to those individuals who had to go through a, a, a qualification and a examination as Gideon, period. You see, it's not every one of us that is called into battle will make it onto the front line. Why? Because we need, or some of us forsake, the strategies and the plan in which that God has called us into. In Matthew 28, it says, Go eat the four and make disciples, baptizing them and teaching them in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. I have a mandate from God, a mandate of, from God to say you too need to be prepared for this war that Satan has commissioned against the kingdom of God. You see, we are at a time and we are at a dispensation where the signs are declaring that Satan is raging mad. It says in perilous time there will be famine, there will be an escalation of war in the nations, and not only nations against nations, but we too will have families against families. We will have churches against churches, and we will have kingdoms against kingdom. And more so, the kingdom that I am concerned here with today is the kingdom of God. And the battle is already won, and we need to admonish and receive the teachings and the tools and the strategies that God has given us to be successful over Lucifer, who has become Satan. You see, there is a great war being raged in the world today, believe it or not, you might be going from day to day and you hear that somebody has been stabbed or somebody has been raped or somebody has been racialized or profiled. This is a war, believe it or not, that a spiritual war that has been manifested in the natural world. It is not a conflict or ever between nations. You might seem, and it might seem or appear that it's a war against nations, against nation. But it's a war against kingdom of God, hallelujah, against the kingdom of Satan. You see, tribes or government leaders, no, it is not about all those um, governments or leaders, it is a spiritual warfare. It is not a rebellion or a coup. You see, not too long ago, they tried to do a coup in Bar Barbados, rather, trying to overthrow, or they were successful, I believe, in overthrowing Prime Minister or Bishop, um, President Bishop of Barbados. But it is not a natural warfare. You see, Satan comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. It is not a rebellion or a coup, as I stated before. It is an important, invincible battle taking place in the spirit world. Amen? And you really need to understand that there is a battle going on. Can I interject? 